What's up, beautiful blues people out there? Thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to another Joe Bonamassa Signature Lick Special here on this channel. Before we get started, I want to show you what you can learn today. Check it out. Okay. Woo. Joe Bonamassa ripping off his Les Paul. I came across this video by just, you know, like randomly checking YouTube sounds and all that. And I found this sequence is pretty much like Joe Bonamassa's signature speed stuff. Uh, pentatonic, five note uh, patterns, 16 note triplets, uh, legato playing, by the way, not too much alternate picking. So I thought I would transcribe this lick uh, or part of it and then uh, show it to you. So for my taste, it's a really cool thing to go for. And I uh, programmed some practice loops uh, I'm gonna play this lick right now to you in the speed of 60 BPM. This is pretty much the half speed of what he does. Uh, let me see if I can do it for you. Again. To warm up still. Okay, 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 okay. Um, 60 BPM, half time of what the original is pretty much and uh, still struggling. So, but, you know, we are here all to learn, right? So let's uh, learn this thing together and leave a comment if you feel like um, you have to tell us something the way you learned it, for instance or uh, how your approach is. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification button to get alarm when something new is coming up right here. Okay, let's go through the notes quickly. There's also tablature, so no long explanations needed. Everything is an E minor pentatonic, uh, starting from the 10th position up to 17th position. Everything is 16 note triplets, so you can't fail uh, doing this whole thing. I'm going to quickly through the notes. It starts off on 10, 12, and 14 on the A string. By the way, we have just cut this whole thing in three sections so it's easier to, to memorize. So it's like 12, hammer on 14, slide to 14. Now we are already in the 12th position, which means we're in the first box minor pentatonic. And all we do is like hammer on from 12 to 14, 12, 14, 12, 15, 12, 15 slide up to 17. So the whole sequence until here is... And now after that we actually start to come back down with uh, going uh, from 17 pulling off to 15 then pick 17 on the B, pull off to 15, go to 16 on the G, then repeat 17 on the B, pull off to 15 on the B, go back to 16 on the G, pull off from there to 14 on the B, and then you go like uh, D 17, pull off to 50, to, uh, to 14, B six, uh, 17 to 14, damn it. Then you go the uh, A string 17, pull off to 14 and then you actually slide back down position shift to the 12th position again so the whole thing until here now once you're here you simply go back to the G string 5th 14th fret and you pull off to the 12th fret and that's you do the same on the G on the D string so G 14 12 pull off uh, D 14 pull off the 12 grab 14 on the A and then you repeat the D string again 14 to 12 A 14 to 12 E 15 to 12 and finally the octave so the whole thing 3 4 
whole thing. Let me just try if I can do 60 again. Again. Oh. Well, 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 I'm gonna uh, really definitely uh, give a try on this one. Um, the, the method to uh, practice this would be like, let's just do two weeks of two or three minutes playing this lick on a speed that you can do and then rise the tempo on maybe two or three BPM only and do that another two weeks. So you can, uh, you know, uh, most probably reach the tempo that Joe Bonamassa did in like uh, two, three, four years, I don't know. And uh, I'm gonna quickly show you the uh, practice pattern on 110, it sounds like that. Let me quickly compare the Bonamassa video again to it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, leave a like if you feel like, and if you don't, uh, it's fine too. Uh, see you next time, hope you liked it, and uh, you know, keep on practicing, that's just the way you get better. Cheers, see you next time, bye bye.